Why is Valencia a thing? Just, just hold on. Just hold on. Just hold on. So I am going to declare a massive war. In light of recent uh, dev diaries focusing on Gotland, I thought I'd bring forward a campaign uh, that I've been wanting to do for a while, which is Gotland itself. It might seem a little bit redundant to play a nation that's about to get a change, because inevitably I'll be playing it later, but I thought it'd be a nice little comparison between before and after. People don't like it when I do this, but frankly, I don't care. I am going to go and piss off my current vassals, send insults, siphon income. Wow, you really didn't care about that, Norway? Man, you got to stand up for yourself a little bit more, lad. That's horrifying. You really don't care. I'm going to rival Poland, make my life a little bit easier. England and uh, Novgorod. Beyond that, I actually do need to kill these guys here. I'm going to quickly ruin you. Excellent. Okay, now we go and actually take Gotland. Poland electing a local ruler. Did not plan for that, but that's okay. Going to go ahead and get rid of these forts. That's nice. Otherwise, I think it's probably best if we just sort of gonna ban it away. Right, so now our plan is Gotland. Gotland actually has goodnish ideas, uh, which aren't too terrible. Uh, core creation costs minus 15%. I'm not sure why they get that, but that is ridiculously good for conquest. Uh, privateer efficiency, trash, trade efficiency, in there. Uh, development cost, okay. Uh, mercenary maintenance, not great. Ship cost, not great. Global trade power, not great. Merchants, pretty good. And then the rest of these, not great. Um, but it's an interesting nation with interesting ideas, and we don't get a custom mission tree. But what we do have the ability to do is we can form a pirate republic. I know in the dev diary it says about being a pirate a republic and that sort of stuff, but if you get up to two stability and you have a navy that is uh, privateering, uh, you can do some pretty good stuff. It's great starting as a released vassal because you have 100% crown land, so you can just give it all away and still keep all these amazing bonuses. All right, so now we chill for the next five years. <laughs> How are you loyal? I'm actually gonna. I, I, I get the form, I'm gonna delete it. If you stand on my capital anyway, it's not going to help me. Let's see, who would be likely to support our independence? Scotland, Lithuania. That was not a long list. <laughs> also note the lack of headphones in the last couple of um, videos. Uh, the main reason for that is because I broke my other ones. And so now I can't actually hear anything in the game. So I decided why give myself headphone hair. Look, my hair's never been looking better, boys. I've not got a huge dent in the middle. But that's your obligatory late hair update. Now, I don't really want to piss everyone off by privateering, but I will do. I kind of want to go full naval like this. Full naval Gotland. That's the plan. That's the play. Full naval pirate Gotland. See, sometimes good ideas, they just spring to me, boys. Sweden, bad. You can get on board. No, you, you're definitively... I swear Sweden never wants to go. Oh, okay. It's a bit early. I'm always amused by how few people know how uh, naval combats and naval engagements work and just generally anything to do with the Navy in this game. Uh, I'm also mildly one of those people. Okay, there's the truth of Denmark. So, Duena, you in? Oh, you are absolute legend. England's would be in and Scotland is no longer in. So right now, no one would support our independence apart from Lithuania, which is probably not enough. That is bad. I probably should have abandoned Sweden as well, but I figured they'd be on my side. I made my life harder without meaning to. I'm going to talk about a 5 3 2. He's not that bad. But let's see how good he is as a general. What the hell is that name? Somerdal Grobenheim. Heil, Heil. What an absolute legend. All right, Scotland. Now you join. Yeah, boy. Okay, right, excellent. There's, there's the English, right. So, the Danes are allied to the Teutons. They will likely land on me immediately. We will defend our island. <laughs> it's about to go Churchill for a second there. We should, surely we can. It depends on the English. Oh, I'm gonna die if I have to depend on the English. Shame about the stability. <laughs> Probably could have saved myself a stability there if I just insulted him, but I messed up. And now, boys, we pray. <laughs> God, everything got so dark so quickly. What the fuck of all men that we can only see on our island? Okay, the Lithuania has 22,000 troops. England is doing nothing. Scotland, also nothing. All right, Lithuania. <laughs> it's all on you, bud. That's not going to work. Don't spoil your troops like this. <laughs> so screwed. The English Navy's here. If I get access from... Nope. I'm fairly certain the second I peek my head out, I'm going to get taken down. Someone tell me how when you fight against England, they land like... Like they're storming the beaches of of Normandy. They constantly just, they just, they don't care. They throw themselves at it. But the second they're on your side, they're like, well, that's it's kind of far. You know, it's just, it's just a little bit beyond that. Someone uh, told me the phrase, make it make sense the other day. And I'm, I'm a big fan. So expect that in my uh, uh, vocabulary pretty soon. Make it make sense. It's so good. That and my brother in Christ. That's just a good one. I'm glad the Teutons are involved, because otherwise we'd be pretty screwed. Don't worry, boys, I'm on blockade. <laughs> this was a horrible mistake. No, my box. We're going to retreat. Okay, we lost three box. That's like our entire industry. Why did I do that? There was no benefit to that whatsoever. Oh, Jesus, like, there was no point. I didn't have to do it. No one forced me to. I just decided to be an idiot. <laughs> As I would say, make it make sense. <laughs> Cheers, boys, once again. Quick shout out to my British boys. Uh, doing great.
Thank you. I'm scared Lithuania's gonna peace out because they're they're sort of taking swathes of territory. Where is your other? You just left the sea. Okay, cool. To be fair, Lithuania is hard carrying, and they don't have a coastline, so we can be. Okay, so Bohemia has split into Lusatia, Glogau, or Poland, Moravia. It looks like. Did you take a province from really? me? Okay, Poland. How? Who are you allied to? Lithuanian wall gas. So what? Did you just attack them? What happened to Burgundy? You didn't... Oh, there's, there's a lot weird in this game, boys. And our king's dead. <laughs> we could get our independence at any time. So that's comforting. They could end this war by just landing on me. I can't do anything about that. It's not like the British Navy is going to do anything about it. This siege, I would be very upset if I was Lithuania right now. How long has it been going on for? So I could peace out the Teuton, but that wouldn't help me. Uh, so let me give myself independence. So he'll accept that. 48 ducats. So I'll get two ducats. That seems like a terrible idea. Probably war operations. Good idea. Uh, well, we're getting war school, so I'm tempted just to stick it out. What? <laughs> Why would you just get a... Why? So someone went after my regent. So now she either extends the regency. It's horrible, so I don't want that. Or we lose stability or she dies. She's dead. So now we have a normal regency. I feel like that was a worse idea. Why did I do that? I just stopped myself from declaring wars. That was really dumb. That was... Well, I guess we'll focus on building up a... I, but that was... Wow, I want to take a second just to really dial in how dumb that was. You're now two away. Okay, well, war operations grant independence. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, yeah, I don't want to do too much. Excellent. We've gotten our independence, boys. Now hoisting the black flag. We need 10% privateers in the trade node of the Baltic Sea. Okay, that war operations is really going to help us. It's going to fund our navy, which we're then going to use to raid them. Absolutely want a royal marriage with you. You are my saving grace, Lithuania. I will never betray you. You want military access through me? Okay, sure. You can come visit the island nation of Gotland. <laughs> oh my god, we're going to be home to Lithuanian uh, tourists. Well, there's R2 stability. That's one stability. I actually had a, uh, a video planned where I was going to form Scandinavia, and it was going to be titled The Worst Formable Nation. And I ended up scrapping it because it was that bad. This is the third time I've tried to film this video. Because I'm like, ah, oh, it'll be funny. People enjoy it when I suffer. But like, it's admin take 20 points. I got two choices. Either I start at a later start date or I cheat it in. And neither one of those is a satisfying video. It was meant to be the precursor to the Iceland video I did. And it's just, it's just bad. I don't want to raid. You wouldn't. Would you care if I raided the Baltic? No. Would you care? You probably do, right? Paritaros, yep. Is anyone where it's their home node? So you'd care, right? No. What about you? Only the Livonians care. Uh, Teutons go. That's nice. Well, there go the Teutons. Which sucks for me. Because, uh, yeah, I kind of wanted these territories. It kind of makes my expansion pretty limited. Probably gonna need to go into the Livonians and take out Novgorod. Well, hopefully when they're occupied, they won't be able to do too much. So now's our sort of our golden opportunity. Pirates have 7%. We might be able to just squeak by. Does this mean I'm pirating myself? They already won. Okay. Well, the Teutons are still alive and I could probably vassalize them. Which would be very useful indeed. What are they allied to? Livonians, Mecklenburg, and Stettin. That's pretty simple. Unless you have claims on those territories or designs on those territories, you do. But what if I said, and hear me out here, I wanted them. Assuming you don't like me because I'm pirating you. Yeah. I'm a Catholic pirate. It's okay. We're about to get Renaissance, which is pretty early. We can take it for a ducat. Look at that. We took it before a lot of the powers of Europe did. <laughs> Gotland, this the center of learning. The Library of Alexandria? Nah. The fall of Baghdad? Pff. All these things are inconsequential to the absolute state of the bookstore in Gotland. Navy size to be 90%. Force limit. How close are we to getting our 10%? Literally, it's, it's gone it's gone negative. If I have to keep pumping out barks, I will. 262 is in charge. And we've got 222, Sophia. You're a terrible ruler. And I hate Pretty sure 222 is average, right? Because it, it goes from 0 to 6. So I suppose that privateer efficiency coming in handy here to try and make us a uh, pirate public. We do make 0.5 of a ducat. Right, idea groups. I think, I think. I think we've got, got naval rivals. Naval ideas. Naval Gotland. I mean, what's anyone going to do to stop us? Pirates have 10%. All right, we just need stability level two, and we don't have that. God damn it. What a tech up. What a horrible mistake. We're going to build some cogs. <laughs> Profiteer fish plus 20%. Hell yeah. Oh, that's useful. There we go. Can we hoist the black flag? Oh, boys. Bang. <laughs> So for those of you who don't know, that changes uh, this entire power structure to give us uh, the ability to raid coasts, uh, including those of the same region. So I'm about to make a lot of money. I want you to take note that we have 200 ducats now. That's going to increase. Uh, we have a governing uh, cost plus 75%. That sucks. Uh, a yearly Republican tradition goes down, but we also have like the Buccaneers in charge that cancels that out. We also have the ability to capture enemy ships pretty easily. And also we have a really, really cool government tree. 
uh, it's easily one of the best out there, especially this whole, you go down here and it's like, where is it? War against the world. Here we go, war against the world doctrine. So it means we can't have slaves, but we can declare war on everyone and also get minus five years of separatism. It's, it's just a ridiculous, if you've never played a pirate before, what the hell are you doing with yourself? It's so much fun. Okay, so now what we do is we're going to raid our coast. So remember, we had 200 ducats. Okay, do we want to keep Ruben or do we change it out? I think a 262 is better than what we have. So let's do that. We could be a 363. Three. Gonna go raid everyone. How far can we raid? Not here. That's 300 ducats in profit so far. So you can kind of see that we're not really gonna suffer from too many monetary issues. Oh, don't forget the Gulf of Riga in there. Nice snuggle away, another 25. So we made about 300 and something ducats. Chance to capture enemy ships. I'm tempted to go for that. The galley combat ability is also nice. Uh, no, we're gonna go full pirate. Okay, we're gonna need uh, six cogs and we're actually gonna need like some fighting capabilities. <laughs> These barks are nice and all, but uh, yeah, they're not gonna do too much. We're also going to pirate the Novgorod Sea. And in the meantime, we will upgrade our center of trade. A bunch of money now. I mean, half of that is war operations, but still. So my idea here is I declare war on the Livonians and vassalize the Teutons. But I need to land. Those five galleys will destroy me. So we attack the Livonians with the help of the Lithuanians and vassalize the Teutons for the hope, in the hopes that we can attack Poland at some point when they're not allied to Lithuania. If I were to attack Wolgast, I might be able to get away with it. This is the Byzantine influx. Like I said, the bookstore of Gotland, the Gutnish bookstore grows ever stronger. I'm gonna build a temple. This is gonna be uh, an, an industrial homeland, boys. There's already 19 developments. It's actually not that bad of a province. Like, you were mocking it, but bam. Everyone would come in. Muscovy, eh? I'm not fighting that because Muscovy are big dogs. Gonna have to, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Sweden now has its independence. Privateer efficiency, absolutely. The Muscovite conquest of Adoya, that makes my life tricky. Some might even say impossible. <laughs> I have a plan for how I could do this. I could drop into Goldingen and then grab the free company, but that is insanely risky. But if I have a Miltek ahead, I think we could do it. We put 6K in Goldingen and then just hold. We might be able to fight this ourselves if we attack. Okay, that's like 12,000 troops. We'd be outnumbered, but I don't. Probably there's only 10,000 if I do it this way around. Stettin as well would be decent to nab some territory off of. Okay, we've got to wait a couple of years for these goddamn cogs. I will say it's a good idea if we grab a claim on Blecking or Ble Blecking. So the captain's currently in charge. They give us bonuses to Marauder Navies. These guys give us trade power and trade efficiency, and these guys give us sale recovery speed and Republican tradition. Republican tradition is quite good. Wow. You're getting screwed. And then you're attacked by the Ottomans. I mean, I could go in against Poland, I suppose, or Danzig even, break up that alliance. There's a lot I could do here. There's a lot of opportunity, but just, we just don't, <laughs> I just need more chips, goddammit. Because we're going to get crushed by the Livonian Navy. Okay, we get a new thing here. Council of Captains. Privateer efficiency, that's nice. Republican tradition, also nice. Trade power abroad. Um, I like the idea of permanent Republican tradition. Actually, privateer efficiency. We're going for like full privateering. How much money do we make off of that? We make like a, a 1.2 ducats. Well, let's start paying our troops anyway. Uh, we'll grab ourselves a general. <laughs> Alright, Chris Hesselborn, 01. Jesus Christ. Pretty sure we'll get navally crushed because of my lack of galleys. I feel I'd wait for Lithuania, but I can't wait forever. 30 years. Okay, so this would be an facing 20,000 and also a fort that I can't take. Well, the Ottomans took land. Muscovy would come in still. What if I improve relations with you, bro? Galley combat ability plus 10%. Yes, please, for 10 years. Okay, I'm probably gonna get one galley. It's kind of hard to build things when you only have one province. This is the main challenge. So, we attack the Teutons. We land in the Livonians. Get the free company. Win. Go. Go. So they're landing. I'm gonna go land in Memel. And then I'm gonna leg it into Lithuania. That's the play. Because they can't touch me, right? So realistically, they're gonna chase me. Surely. Yeah, they are. Okay. Okay, they're also gonna catch me. Their troops are a lot better than, like, in every conceivable way. But we win? As planned, of course. So now we're gonna... What? <laughs> okay, the plan continues as normal, boys. Now we pass the Heretic Dikumbrurak. That's that's part of it. Probably should have taken and built the force moment, but it's a bit late now. Uh, we are gonna take galley combat ability, because we have one galley. We're gonna fight his navy, and now we're gonna get the free company. This was always the plan. Don't question it. Okay, that is a massive navy. I'm gonna retreat out of that the second I can. We're just gonna keep Ruben. He's been doing us well. Okay, now what? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, half my plan was was to take life land. Uh, do you think I could bait them into Gotland? Okay, well, in the meantime, let's just keep fighting them. I'm actually gonna take this sort of thing. I'm also gonna take a discipline advisor. We wanna nip in and 
Because remember, we can capture ships, right? So if I nip in and, and, and take out a bunch of ships, I can capture them. See, look, two galleys right there. That's going to make our fleet maintenance a lot of money. So that's okay. Uh, my other plan is to go and take Ozil and bait them onto it and then trap them there. Can we get a better general, please? <laughs> we're like, we're not actually that even outnumbered anymore. We got really lucky there, boys. I'm not going to lie to you. We're going to blow We're going to blow this up. Just, I don't know if to do it anymore. Yeah, Lithuania's been... God, lobotomized, it looks like. Jesus. Poland got taken out by the Ottomans. This is, is kind of bad. I don't want to fight this. I keep on losing galleys. Well, I'm getting forced out, boys. Then us retreat after we've done one little bit of damage. Okay, we've got more galleys coming. Can't fight that. Capture three galleys. Very good. Very nice. Dude, everyone's freaking out. They don't know what to do. <laughs> It gained so many ships throughout this entire thing. Okay, we're actually hideously outnumbered. I'm gonna bet on it though. Okay, that was an important. That was that was very important. Okay, now realistically, Lithuania's probably just gonna attack you immediately, right? Stetin, you still want in, bro? No, you don't. You do not want any of this. Okay, cool. Yeah, give me give me two ducats. Why not four ducats? Right, so we won. Now what to do? So firstly, obviously I want you to be my vassal. We take, I think we have to take land from the Thessalonians, right? We need, we need at least this. Which means we have to fight. Blue Mason is now costing us a hell of a lot. Okay, we don't need, we need probably just seven cogs, right? We don't need this many cogs. I'm sure there's no navy left. We've killed all the naval stuff. Okay, we are hemorrhaging money. <laughs> We're gonna raid. <laughs> I'm just landing on him so then he can't create any more troops. There's an unconditional. Okay, no one would join a coalition if I did this. I think that's a good idea. So the console's there. Hey again. Yeah, yeah, uh, 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 what do you want me to do? <laughs> like, oh, you can fake the fact that, look, it's a, it's a clickable button. I can't do a debug achievement. <laughs> what do we do? Let's go raid. You lot, this would be expensive, yeah. Oh, is that anyone? 120 ducats from one raid? Oh, you're too kind. And there's our money problems. So, two of them massively over our nail force limit. We are, we're also massively over our actual force limit. I am going to go, why are we taking this? Uh, I am going to fire you. I can't afford you anymore. Unnecessary. Oh, we picked up an extra galley. Wonderful. That's 100% on all counts. I'm gonna take your land now. And some money. Thank you. And for you, something very special. I'm going to subjugate you. I'm gonna do good things together, you and me. Right, so you're gonna hate me, but you have claims or cause on these areas, and that's good. Oh, yeah, I probably should have taken the war aggression, the aggressive Spanish one first. Eh, we'll go war taxes. Actually, money's not really an issue for us. I might build a fort in Ozil, because I could probably get them to, to go over there. Pay off our 50 ducats worth of loans. What's our naval force limit? It's like 27. I'm okay with being this much over. It's only about like two ducats a month. Or if you're Estonian separatists. It's uh, a lot of Estonians. Like a concerning amount of Estonians. Oh, well. <laughs> there you go, Danzig. So, just be fighting you purely, you. Okay. Austria, buddy. Look, I'm so threatened. So, shall I? We're good, right? You want land that's mine? <laughs> okay. So, we're not good. Gotcha. Understood. Loud and clear. Let's go fight Novgorod. <laughs> Surprised that Muscovy hasn't taken him out, but equally, Muscovy has, again, really, really, really taken out. Consolidation of power versus length of election term minus one. I think like, length of election term minus one's better because then we can start building up, guys. Allied with Lithuania. Are you bloody kidding me? The Lithuanians honestly have gone out of their way to screw me over. They have taken. Uh... <laughs> okay, and that's. Okay, well, that's that dealt with. Honestly? It might be time to get rid of this Lithuanian alliance. How have you taken one more? How have you managed that? What? What? All right, the Burgundian land, sure, but how did you get hold of a French core? And Navarra, what? Navarra is just allied to Provence. Did Provence, what? The, but Provence, where is Provence? This over here. Provence is like, they lost to Aragon. Valencia is a thing as well. Why is Valencia a thing? This is Mallorca. Okay, what is, what? Okay, let's try and piece this together, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so Provence must have like lost to Aragon, but also beaten France to give Picardy some land. Theodora's rivaled Lithuania. How do we manage that one then? 
Oh, here it is. <laughs> the French conquest of La Party. I spoke too soon. I'm sorry, I damned you. I want to know how Valencia became a thing, though. <laughs> Not to exaggerate, but I think Lithuania might be the devil. They've, they've done everything horribly for me. I mean, they got me out of that first war, so I can't really be too mad, but still. It feels like every action they could have taken to screw me over, they have. I'm moldy locked in. I just have to wait for Muscovy to do something. Well, ordinarily, this looks great, right? But Lithuania got crushed by Muscovy before, and England and Scotland unlikely to do anything. I like, honestly, building up a massive war chest and then murdering everyone in our way, probably a good idea. Honestly, I, our ideal is that Muscovy attacks Lithuania. Wait, but we're allied to Lithuania. That's not an ideal at all. All right, Ottoman Caucasia, damn. The Ottomans got locked out of uh, North Africa and they, they took it as a challenge. Valencia is allied to Castile, France, uh, Portugal, and Naples. They allied everyone. Meanwhile, the uh, English have done diddly squat. They've actually done nothing. They, they've genuinely, they, they took two provinces in Ireland, no, one province in Ireland, and then nothing. They, <laughs> they've done nothing. <laughs> okay, let's go raiding again. The issue with conquering coastline is that there's less for me to raid. Rival Riga, and we're gonna rival Nord. <gasps> Austria would actually fight with us uh, against the Fiend. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and keep this guy because he has Righteous, which gives re yearly Republican tradition a plus 0.5, which would be good for keeping him on top. I'm also gonna get rid of the alliance with Scotland <laughs> in the hopes that England attacks them. All right, so our second idea group obviously has to be maritime ideas. I hate my life. Navy tradition from protecting trade. We don't do that here. Okay, this is killing me. I'm just gonna trigger these guys. It's probably cost me more money. Than it, than, it, than it would just a wait. But oh well. Now Poland's allied to him. Honestly, everything would be perfect if Novgorod just didn't ally Lithuania. That would be amazing because then I could attack Poland without bringing in Lithuania. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Why? He's going to put the annex, isn't he? If he does it, I'm, 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 I'm breaking the alliance. He's done nothing but hem me in. Muscovy's looking like really round. <laughs> Put up a bit more of a fight, Lithuanians. Please, you can do this. Just, just hold on. Just hold on. Just hold on. They were not able to hold on. Uh, oh, brilliant. Oh, wonderful. And you're now in my land. Okay, cool. That's fun, isn't it? Appreciate that. You didn't even finish off your mess. Look at that. It's going to gain separatism now. Jesus. I have to go murder these guys. Yeah, surely, surely it's time, right? He's, he's just hemming me in. Oh, you're absolutely the worst. I'm, I'm sick of you. Get out of here. All right, so in trying to adhere to sort of the role play side of things, I've been the most patient I've ever been. However, this is now the most frustrating game, so I am going to declare a massive war. <laughs> That's all I got. Don't worry, Marines force limit plus 50% because I already took this one. It's the same basic thing, okay. Send out the Navy, boys. Oh, you poor bastard. <laughs> Pull out of this one just because we don't have a, a naval leader because he died. Yar, boys, please. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to, to come on by pretty quickly. There would be 30,000 goddamn troops up in this bitch. Yar! That was very close! Yar? Okay, we have uh, taken like way too many ships. See, now's the time to like drop marines here. I'm Miltech 8, you're Miltech 7. That's annoying because that's like 20,000 troops. We can't beat that. We could try, I suppose. This province is holding out pretty well. Right, time for some marines, boys. <laughs> I know this is what you've been waiting for. Let's go. Go, Marines. Uh-oh. Uh, get out of there, Marines. <laughs> okay, 3-3 three, three is good. We'll fight with that. What? Get out of there. Okay. Uh, right, I think it's time we evacuate. <laughs> go stand on the island. How is everything else down here? Okay. We've lost the siege. We're, we're, gonna, we're just gonna wait on the island. Go, Marines. <laughs> we're taking Danzig, boys. Huzzah! Now flee. <laughs> Yeah, he's coming. Let's get out of here. Oh, no. Uh, scorch the other. Scorch. No, that would help him, not me. Don't scorch. Marines! <laughs> I don't know if we're winning this war or not. I'm pretty sure we're not. Get out of there, boys! <laughs> oh, man. I love Marines so much. They're so much fun. <laughs> They're so much quicker than them. <laughs> Go! Now send them to the other side. Can we get wall gas out of here? Damn, you got a lot of money. I get 100 ducats? Hell yeah. Alright, we'll take another tier of the government stuff. State maintenance, governing capacity, obviously governing capacity for our massive empire. Go, 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 siege it, boys. <laughs> siege it quickly. I mean, well, I mean, my allies down south have done pretty well. I mean, the only person on low on our side is uh, well, the Teutons, but they don't get a choice. Uh, we can get Moldavia out. That's useful. All right, I'm going to retreat back over here. 
It's a navy. We can fight navies. Go. Oh, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Uh, pretty sure we're losing. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to try and get the Lithuanians out of here. Yes, my men, flood across. Have no fear of death, for it shall claim you eventually anyway. Nah, Lithuanians on high. They they really want this war. All right, boys, pull out. We're going to go after Novgorod instead. Can't win that. You got this. Yes. It's got such a bloody conflict and just not at all for us. How about now, Novgorod? You want to come out? I have war score on you. Nine is six. It's actually not that bad. Denmark. If you ever loved me. Yes. That's six. That's oh my god. That's a hundred thousand almost men. They breached the walls instantly. That's a lot of dudes. Okay, they're gonna be coming pretty soon, boys. So uh it's it's been it's been nice. You you guys gotta gotta do us a solid here. Okay, so um I got bad news for us boys. I don't know if we're getting out of this one. Any chance? Negative six? Cool. Uh, hey, yo. Okay, we'll, get, we'll be an Ozil if anyone needs us. Well, some of us will. <gasps> you can't leave, can you? Okay. Uh, Muscovy, if you ever loved me. <laughs> That's 900 men dead. I'm not sure how these guys are still alive. Go, go, go. Evacuate, boys. Don't worry, we've got heavy ship combat ability on our side. 200 died where? Oh, no, yeah, that makes sense. I'm just kind of... Moved in one, one province and forgot about them. Okay, where are my marines? They're our only hope now. Can you just be cool and leave those 900 troops alive, please? How are you doing this? You haven't succeeded in a while. Do you have any manpower left? No, you don't. This is this is the play. Australia, you still up for this war? Yeah, you are. Okay, cool. Um, in that case, marines go. What's this war for? Chelm, no. <gasps> the baby. Oh! Okay, that's safe. Shh, they don't know this is that you're here. Just try running away now. Uh, what? Pretty sure it's blockade. Yeah. I was to say, if the AI walks past that one, I'd be very upset. Are they coming to try and take out the Marines? Surely not. Surely they know it's impossible to catch my Marines. All right, Marines, I need to make it safe over here, please. I, I, these guys actually survived. That's incredible. I've lost all sense of time. I have no idea how long this has been going on for. Okay, we lost the Siege of Warsaw. That's okay. How many ships do we have? We, we have 43 ships. We do not need... This is a stupid amount of cogs. Why would I wipe peace when I'm winning? I think we can take 10,000 troops. We, yeah, we can definitely take this, this army. Well, 29,000. That's that's a bit more of a stretch. Yeah, oh, stop, God, get out of here. <laughs> okay, so uh, Lithuania, I'm also willing to wipe peace with you. Now it's just us and Poland. I never got out of here. Okay. Oh, wow. Nice. The, the, the fort. That's amazing. Is he trapped behind the fort now? I can't remember if I had war scoring with winner or not. I, I I do not care at this point. I just want to win this war. We can actually get everything we want. Nice. I can win boys. I'm very surprised that this has gone this well. I mean, sure, we have two two lines. It didn't seem that bad. The amount of Polish troops that have died in this one siege is incredible. How many ships am I allowed? Um, I'm actually not doing too bad. I'm gonna get rid of the free company. I think we've kind of won this war to the point where I don't need them anymore. The men are inconsequential at this point. I don't have, I do not want to have a large enough uh, nation for that to be consequential. This has been a horrific war. Uh, 98. It's been going on seven years, and many people have died. Also proving itself quite nicely. I mean, most of the combat happened down there, but I was focused in uh, my area. What's going on here? Attack against Novgorod in the Muscovite conquest. Well, that locks off that territory, but that also means Lithuania's fighting. And I wipe peace so I can fight Lithuania. Ooh, smart. Accidentally, but smart nonetheless. Next, and that's the 99%. Brilliant. So we take that land. I'm gonna take war reparations. And honestly, I think we just. I, 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 hey, I want this land. Can I, am I allowed to have it? So I take four provinces, give the rest to the Teutons, and then I win. Wait, no, I want the I want the alliance with the uh, Lithuanians gone. Excellent. Wow, that is. Uh, impressive. Gotlander, Mazovia. Bet when you clicked on an E4 video, didn't expect that one, huh? Unless you did, in which case, honestly, not doing too badly here. Uh, I'm sure we're going to have rebels, but when are we not rebels? Uh, we're going to rival Poland. We're going to rival Lithuania. Expand Gotland. Nice. That haven of a province. I mean, look, you've heard of Paris. 28 development. You've heard of London. 21 development. But have you heard of Gotland? 22 development. One of the great capitals of Western Europe. Yeah, okay, man. I'll be right there. Why would you do this? France, dude. That's like a, that's a lot of troops. I love these Marines. 
I've said it before and I'll say it again, boys. Marines are overpowered. They're amazing. They're not even overpowered. They're kind of mid, but they're fun. That's the main thing. They take 10% more damage than other units, but they're fun. Oh, the Ottomans are going in on the Lithuanians as well. Okay, let's get ready. There's the truce. We'll try and take Wendon. And that is some separatists, which we have to murder first. I actually need to jump on one of these forts. Let's just go kill our rebels in the meantime. So now we're fighting on our own. Which is mildly dangerous, to be honest. And kind of concerning to the point where I'm gonna go I'm gonna go and hire the free company again. She doesn't have any money. Surely you're bankrupt or something. Ten war exhaustion. Yes, please. He's still not built a single unit. <laughs> He's so done. Alright, did we lose? Oh no, we won. Nice. Good job. Well done, everyone. Well done. I helped. Oh, hey, Lithuania. About, yep. Hi, how you doing? Um, you have 7,000 troops. Do you have any manpower? Yeah. You have some manpower. You've also hired other troops, which is kind of concerning. All right, boys, just stay together. Oh, we hired it from Riga. Thanks, Riga. Good. Good to know what side you're on. Just like, hey, the boys! You do have troops. You're just out there helping France. You wily little goat. Come on, let's go destroy Riga together. We're going to take such huge swathes of territory here, boys. He's only got 13,000 troops. We should be fine. Don't know where he is. So I'm going to be a bit cautious and both. Okay, okay, we're fine. We're fine. Everyone's fine. Everyone's fine. Everyone is fine. Everyone. Everyone's fine. Everyone's dandy. Everyone's doing good. Everyone's looking good. Okay, that could have been real bad. Let's uh, go ahead and retreat a little bit. Don't worry, boys. We can get the most overpowered. Stats in the game. We've got morale of, not, of navies plus 10% and also ship cost minus 10%. So, who's laughing now that we're about to engage in probably a lot of land combat? Oh, right. Is the Reformation up and running? Oh, God, that's disgusting. Ah, yes. <laughs> Bruges, that center of, of Reformation, that hotbed. So, what is it? Bruges, Constans, and I don't think... Uh, oh, Bruges, Constans, and no, it's, that's it. There's just two? There's got to be a third somewhere, unless it got crushed. Am I blind? No, there's only two. I can't have a third one. Okay, so there's only two this game. Interesting. The Thuani's not even reacting. They're just so done with warfare. Spread out, boys. It's open season. See, I could probably peace out, but I want I want them to hurt. <laughs> you know what? On second thought, let's just peace out now. <laughs> trying to cut them off. Wait, can I, I can reach the Ottomans. I, don't, I do not want to border the Ottomans. This is a terrible idea. Just going to take the forts. Slight coalition, but honestly, I think that's it. Excellent. We only lost 13,000 troops. Got land of Baltic. That's what we want to see. But clearly, I can't afford these forts, right? <laughs> this is a grassland one. It's horrible. Don't want it. Defensive again? The French conquest of... All right. Once more onto the breach, dear friends. Just hope that no one comes over here. France's at it again. The declaring wars that they just cannot do. Oh, you... Muscovy... <laughs> Are you insane? Muscovy's going to be an issue. They're going to be a massive issue. One that I do not have the resources to solve. And the only other person that could is the Ottomans. They are losing the Karakanula? Look, at the end of the day, worst comes to worst, we sell all of this land and we retreat back to the heartland. Oh no, we're low on funds. Whatever will we do? <laughs> Typically raiding the Danes is the most valuable thing. Look at that. 86 ducats here and then 143 here. Of course, don't forget Riga. Always raid Riga. Oh, the Teutons have actually come in to help us. Oh, well, those are the Austrians. Uh, hey, man, I'm, you should probably not attach to me. Probably go somewhere else. I'm not exactly helping right now, and, and Vienna's about to fall. The Austrians seem to be turning around this French war. We were losing for a while. But Wurttemberg leading the charge to take back Prague. Everyone's piecing out the French. I would never do such a thing. Maybe because I don't need to. Okay. Uh, Buggy revokes their cause. <laughs> what a piece, huh? Karl of Hesse is the new Holy Roman Emperor. Well, that puts a damper on my ability to fight the Poles. <laughs> Good job, Austria. Good job. You, how? <laughs> how have you let this happen, then? I'd have been all over the uh, the Scandinavians had this not happened. Also, the, the English, in other news, have taken one more province. <laughs> That's right, I've been allied to them this entire time. And they've done nothing. <laughs> and they only have 10,000 men. What have you been doing? They've gone Anglican, but they don't have the ability to see it through. The Catholic Zealots are taking them. Oh, nice. Okay, well, the Catholic Zealots were dominating them for a while there. <laughs> we need a claim. We did it yesterday. We can split them up. It doesn't matter if we take losses. We just we just need to get rid of that. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Get a claim. 
England, I'm gonna need you to not be useless for one moment, all right? What a glorious, shining, beautiful moment. You need to not screw this up for me. We're gonna go for Viborg, and, and that's it. We're actually gonna need our Navy. Oh, don't tell me the Ottomans are going after him. Why would you fight Austria and the Ottomans at the same time, man? Have some priorities. All right, we are gonna declare this war. Just to get rid of that alliance. Send forth the ships. We cannot afford to lose a single naval battle. That would be a naval battle that we will lose. <laughs> We're screwed. <laughs> we need more galleys. And also, I need to make sure I'm not putting my uh, these guys in. We're also going to need a better admiral. That's a better admiral. Oh, we are so dead. Yeah, I'm going to try this. He'll give it to me. Lovely. England, you want to... <gasps> They're landing on Orkney. I'm going to fight a fleet that only has like two... What? What? Where'd they go? You blow that up and head back in. Are you disloyal? You are. Brilliant. I'll be here if anyone needs me. <laughs> Fortunately, I just need to take Never. I don't actually need to take Viborg. Why do you have a fort in South Korea, man? AI loves forts nowadays. Right, let's go take out these Pomeranian ships. Right, there we go. Now we're starting to, starting to make some money moves. I don't know if that was a good idea. Think Whoa! To be honest, boys, I reckon we're fighting for a white piece just to get rid of that alliance. I think that alliance is gone now, fortunately. So, and they don't really have anything that binds them together like they used to. But that is where we'll leave it today. So if you want to see how uh, this Danish war develops and if we're able to sort of secure ourselves in this region, uh, do let me uh, do let me know by liking and subscribing. We're about to annex the Teutonic Order, have all of this juicy land and hopefully turn that into an unstoppable naval force. Meanwhile, the English uh, making sure that Scotland is secure from, uh, from the Scandinavians. Got very scary musk and very scary Osman skin, so it should be interesting. In any case, boys, if you enjoyed, please do uh, like and subscribe. It really does help me out. In any case, boys, if you did enjoy, please do like and subscribe. It really does help me out. Otherwise, I will see you all next time. Goodbye. Huge shout out to our patrons, most notably Charlie Demorel, Krilly, Flyerton, JDow52, Cargon, Xiaomi, Lewis Wright, Nicole's Christ, QA Shard, Redguard, and Shadow Singer. The support means a lot, guys. Whilst you're here, you might as well click on another video. I mean, it's, it's literally right there.